Hey guys, this is Ankit from the guys computer and today we're gonna talk about network devices. So if you are new to this video and are interested in networking series then here's the, here is the link for the playlist. Now let's move on to the network devices. Now as we know we can't imagine a network without devices or, or, and all the devices even in ancient world a lot of devices and a network was used to create pyramid. Now in modern world, these are some of few network devices such as computer, a hub, switch. You generally had seen these network devices around your home, a router, modem, firewall, and network interface card, a gateway device, and other patch panel. More than these device, devices are used in corporate world. Now talking about computer, a computer as yes, you all know a desk, you have seen desktop and laptop. These are general purpose machines which are used in home. On the other, other hand there are servers which are more power, powerful than computers and are used for a particular purpose like file sharing, mail sharing and all. Super com and there is a supercomputers which used to calculate very complex calculations and these all are connected to a network using NIC. Now talking about net NIC it is known as network interface card and it is used to connect a computer to a network. As this device is so cheap that nowadays it is integrated on board and it used use MAC address for addressing as the MAC address is burned on its room by its manufacturer and as we all know it can communicate by wire using Ethernet cable or wireless now other devices modem it is known as modulator demodulator and its main work is to convert analog to digital and digital to analog as our computer runs on digital signals and the main work is it converts the data into telephone analog signals so that they can be transferred through telephone lines. Now the next device is hub. A, a hub is a, is a dumb device which is not used nowadays as it is a half duplex device. It only communicates at one at a time. It, the main function of a hub is that it broadcasts data on its all ports. Now it also one property of hub is that it share its bandwidth, it share its bandwidth. That means if 10 devices are connected on a 100 Mbps on a hub having a bandwidth of 100 MB, 100 MB then each device will share 10 MB. Now, it is used in limited network network that means if more computers are connected to a hub the speed will be low and degraded now hub are of two types one is active hub and another is passive hub active hub is also known as concentrator which not only send the data flood the data but it also amplify the data and nowadays it is known as repeater and on the other side passive hub passive hub only floods data now another other device is switch it is more smart than hub as it remember the device using its scam table so that it will not send unnecessary data to have on data on every port now it uses of virtual lan and also create separate collision domain so that all the, compu the two computers connected or sending or receiving data seem to be connected by a single LAN logical now here's the working now let's see the working of a switch and as you see in this picture as soon the file was received received by the switch it registered it registered that the computer a with mac address a is connected on its port a1 now similarly when the file computer c reply back then it 
came to know that it is connected on its port 5 also with the MAC address and in such way it all happened. Now it was the basic working but in reality as soon as we connect the devices they use some address resolution protocol for all these things and the cam table is also updated in few milliseconds it, it is being refreshed. Now switches are also two types one is unmanaged switch which is automatic that means you can't configure it it will handle its task automatically by itself another is another R managed switch in these there are two subcategories one is smart in which you can configure basic settings and these are used in fast ethernet gigabyte ethernet and you can configure basic settings like bandwidth on ports and a few other settings and under Another types are enterprise managed switches. switches. These are used in big industries, big enterprises and you can configure almost everything in these type of switches. From, uh, it, it have got a console, it have got a command line from where you can copy or you can edit all the network information and a lot of other tools. But uh, to configure all this you must be an expert. Now routers. Routers are more advanced devices which connects two or more networks. These devices gather information from a packet header like its destination and then it uses its routing table to send that packet forward. Now routing are of also of two types. One is static routing in which there is the path is manually set and generally it is used in very small network like two or three network and on the other side side in big networks there is dynamic routing is used and routing protocols are used to send used to to find the best path best and the shortest path for a packet now here you can see internet is whole connected by routers these are also gateway devices and they have a variety of functions like they are wireless they are, nowadays wireless access point is inbuilt built in built in them they can act as dhcp server they all are also a default gateway and they have an inbuilt firewall and further on they have a lot of complex for functions like uh, mac address filtering and a lot more now talking about the firewall a firewall is a, is a software or a hardware that blocks malicious connection it can limit control the access now the firewalls as you know are of two types one are software based as we have in our, our homes in windows and another are hardware based these hardware based firewall are used in big networks 